This is with the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. Terry, we're in for a great day. Hi, Rick, and great to see you. I can't wait to get out there. <laughs> As you can see by the sign, folks, we've traveled to the Pine Ridge Pheasant Preserve, Hunting Preserve, and Dog Kennels. And I'll tell you, I've heard so much about this place, and it's great to meet the owner, Mike Pilata. Rick, Mike, I'll thank you for you. coming up. Well, Terry and I were talking on the way down. We've heard so much about your operation. We can't wait to get out there. Well, thank you very much, and I hope that we can uh, live up to our expectation, Rick, and show you a great day. Well, I'll tell you, I'm, I, as I said before, I'm looking forward to it. We're hunting both pheasants and chucker. You do both here. That's correct. Both pheasants and chucker, and we're going to do them both. How much property have you got, Mike? We shoot on 150 acres, and we have access to more property if we need it. I don't think we're going to need it today. 150 sounds great. And listen, I understand you're going to serve lunch. That's uh, that's something you offer to the people who come. And we we offer lunch here uh, on, on request, of course, and uh, my wife can put on a wicked meal. <laughs> well, I, I'll tell you, I'm looking forward to it, but she's a big part of this operation. I, I saw your good wife, Rose, on the Yamaha earlier taking the birds out, planting them. She is my right arm. and. She is very much part of this operation, all the way through from A to Z. I don't know what I do without her. I don't know that I'll ask her if she's the boss or you are. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think we should ask her that. That's not. <laughs> but, but listen, I'll there was a number of reasons why Terry and I wanted to come to your operation. In my case, I don't have a dog, and you've got dogs here, Mike. That's correct. We have poodle pointers, and you believe it or not, we have a big percentage of our operation with folks who don't have dogs and we use our dogs as rental dogs for people who don't have dogs and uh, we have raised poodle pointers here for 35 years. Uh, we, uh, we sell our poodle pointers mainly to hunters, uh, to folks that want to go out and hunt uh, pheasants and chuckers or grouse and geese and ducks. It's a, it's a versatile dog. Rick, we, we've got Milan Novak here. He's a very good friend of mine and he's also going to be our guide for the day with this lovely poodle pointer Sam. How old is uh, Sam Milan? Sam is three and a half years old now. And uh, I understand you start them basically right away. In other words, obedience uh, training. Yes, I like to start uh, as soon as they leave their mother. And uh, that means about six or seven weeks of age. Rick, we finally made it to the uh, starting gate, if you will. From here on in, as you can see, it's uh, pheasant country with the uh, corn and the uh, all the goldenrod and the high grass. Of course, I like what I'm seeing. It's early, it's early season, so it's going to be tough out there, but uh, that's what we got these dogs for, and some good shots, I hope. Wow. <laughs> now you're putting oh. the pressure on. Oh. Oh. Well, if I didn't know better, Milan, it looks like that dog's interested in something to me. Oh, definitely. I think he smells a bird somewhere up ahead here. Okay, Sam. Easy. Whoa! Good dog! Well, it's one thing to be in the field, which is always great. There we go! But with a well-trained right. dog... Nice chucker! Wow, good dog, here, Sam. Here. Nice chucker! Good dog, good Sam. Okay. Way to go, Sam. Uh, now, the chuckers are not native uh, to Ontario. They're native to the northern U.S.? No, they're not even native to North America. Oh, really? They have been imported to northwestern U.S. first, initially, okay. and they, they thrive in the wild there. Yeah. And um, they're actually from places like Afghanistan and okay. Iran and high, dry mountain habitat. <coughs> Milan, you're just letting Sam do his thing? Yes, more or less. He's been here before, so he knows what to do. And every once in a while, I'll, I'll call him in on the whistle, or I'll make him stop in the field if I want to. It's a tough day for them, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's the high heat and then the humidity. Yeah. There it is. Oh, look at oh, that. Look at there, that beautiful shot now. there. You'd think Sam knew he was on camera. So we'll have uh, that bird is moving ahead in front of him. Got a running pheasant? I think so. So he's sort of walking up slowly behind it to keep it in his nose. He's trying to keep, yeah, he's trying to keep up with the... Whoa. Good dog, Sammy. Is it Whoa. running on you, Sam? He's running on Whoa. you. Whoa. Okay, I'd like uh, the gunners to go up ahead in front of the dog a bit. Oh, there's the hen. Whoa! Good shot. Good man, Rick. Nice Good shot. shot. Good dog. 
There we go. Got a hand bird, Mike? Yes, we did. You, you know, put we, out a mixture? We put out a mixture here. That's what we do. Yeah, it, it, there's well, cocks and hens, and, and I think the, Sam is on point. Again? Holy mackerel. Let's go. Whoa. But you know, one of the beauties of a dog like Sam, I didn't get all of that bird, and he was on it right away. That We did not lose that bird. Oh. Oh. When you hunt pheasants, quite often you, you may cripple a bird, and they run so fast and so hard that without a dog, you'd have a very slim chance of retrieving that uh, bird. So it's a good idea to use a dog when hunting pheasants. Terry, could you come up a bit? Ooh. It's holding well on this one. Maybe yeah. we got one that's not running. We got oh. two here. Good dog, Sam. Ooh. Right in Look at that, two chuckers. <laughs> Did you get yours? Oh, Terry, I got mine over here. I think we have another bird up here. Oh, Sam's on point again. It looks that, like we may have a runner here. This yes. may be another pheasant. Yeah, he's not giving up on him, though. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. Good dog and good shooting, boys. Here, Bob. Here. Good shoot. Good job, Sam. Good job, Sam. Good job. Good job. Good dog, Sam. Good job. Oh, look at that bird. Oh, Aren't they beautiful? Bird. Oh, man. And this is a young of the year bird, and look how colorful it is already. Oh, yeah. Now later in the year, they'll be even more colorful, and their plumage will be a little bit long fuller. Tail yes. Feather yes. Be long tail yes. feathers and oh, boy. that iridescence, how the sun makes it glisten. Uh, wow! Yes. Excellent. What do you think, Terry? <laughs> is this a tough one? I feel like I'm in heaven, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> oh, found something oh. for us here. Oh. You know, given how tough the conditions are, Sam's doing amazing. Okay, move up there a bit, please. Move up a little bit. Uh, they, they tend to fly with the wind sometimes. Oh. Both birds are down. Hey, that's great. <laughs> I think wonderful shooting, boys. Hey, Chuckers hey, again. Rick. The dog did its job. Here. We did our job. How about that? There. There's the first one. Yeah. Go fetch the other one. Here, 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 Sam. Fetch the other one. Now we know he's got two birds. They're the, just proved here. it by uh, fetch. retrieving them both. Good shooting, boys. <laughs> Doubled up, Terry. And that'll be good eating. Yeah. You, uh, you let Sam range a fair bit. Yes, I do. Because they, he, he yeah. locks up real well once he finds That's the bird. That's right. Um, because he's trained to, to stop and hold his point. Exactly. Oh, now, classic pose. Good shooting, boys. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Good dog, Sam. You gonna run him over to you, Terry? No. I think the bird is between us and the dog now. Gotta be right in front of us here somewhere. Must yeah, be in front of Milan. The He's got the wind right in his nose, and that bird is somewhere Good around dog. here. Oh, Whoa. look at him go. Good oh, shot. Rick. Good shot, Rick. Way to go, Sam. Excellent shot. I should have let it go out further. No, 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 that's no, that's just right distance. That's a very good shot. You know, we love to hunt, but the dog loves to hunt even more. And you know, I think <laughs> that dog lives to hunt. Well, you know, what people don't recognize is that most dogs live to hunt. They I mean, do. it's part of their... It's part their, of their, their every day. And, well, it's their, their heritage. And that's why I, you know, insist that my dogs go to people that's going to hunt them so that they can enjoy enjoy what they do best, exactly. which is hunt, you know. I love it. You go to the gun rack and the dog knows it's going hunting. And they know. <laughs> oh, yes, they do. Oh, very much so. Not only that, but uh, my dogs will sit there in the living room watching me, and as soon as I put on my hunting pants, they know we're going out. And you can't fool them, really. That's so true. Sam's locked up. Well, he seems to think there's something here. Oh, look at him. Go. Whoa, good shoot, Terry. <laughs> Rick, you never even got a shot at that. Oh, Terry was too fast for me. Whoa. <laughs> Boy, he's he wasn't letting him come my way at all. Hey, I just That's didn't right. want to keep Sam waiting any longer. <laughs> good hit, Terry. <laughs> there are two ways of hunting with a pointer. One is using a bell like we are doing today, and that's uh, adequate and very good for places that are open, such as these fields. But if you hunt grouse in the deep woods, 
where you can't see more than 20, 30 yards ahead of you, it's preferable to use a beeper collar. Right. It's an, and, and the beeper collar has different modes on it, but it's, the critical thing is when the dog, dog comes on point, even though you can't see it, it goes beep, beep every second. So it's basically the reverse of the bell. The bell stops when he's the on point. The bell stops. That's so. correct. Whereas the electronic signal right. starts. Man, oh man, I'll take... <laughs> I can't, I can't wipe this grin off my face. Just terrific, Mike. Well, Fantastic. We got, uh, we got several pheasants. We got several chucker. For our viewers, in terms, of, we're gonna. I, I, I'm looking forward to that lunch because I, I know you've told me about Rose's cooking. But in terms of people wanting to come to Pine Ridge and hunt, uh, they can do that a number of different ways, can't they? They certainly can, Rick. You know, uh, we offer. Um, daily hunts right okay uh, just like we've done here today we you know the the folks can just phone us up ahead of time and make an, a, a reservation with us and uh, and uh, we'll uh, cater to uh, to um, individuals with with their own little party of uh, of uh, hunters we offer uh, yearly memberships for people that uh, want to save a little bit of money right. because there is a saving if you uh, you know if you buy a package um, ahead of time, there is a bit of a saving uh, that way, so that's an okay. incentive. Um, and then we do a lot of uh, uh, corporate shoots, if you will, you know, and uh, uh, we offer these real great packages. It doesn't cost you any more to come here and hunt your birds and take your birds home with you than it would if you could go to a specialty market and buy your pheasants and take them home. It doesn't, just doesn't cost you any more. It really doesn't. What a deal. Listen, let's go for lunch. Yes, okay, let's <laughs> do that. I'll carry these birds. <laughs>